body's wrong Rewrote the song Thoughts become action Tell me what's happening What's your mind wrapped in Wrapped around wrap, Wrapped around Hello guys Today we're gonna start our first let's play Yes, our real let's play with parts, everything All of that stuff, you know So we're gonna be playing Making History 2 The World The War of the World So this is a, str a grand strategy game A really interesting one I can't remember who it's made. Let me check exactly who it's made. Oh, one second, let me find. This game is made by Muzi Lane Software. So now I, I, I don't want to sit on this title screen for too long, you know. Let's just get into the game real fast. So we're gonna be playing the building, building for the war. The German question is an interesting start, but it's a very long start, and I don't want to just skip a lot of it, because it will be a, a lot of skipping, it's mostly you build up your economy, army and everything, preparing for the war, building up for the war you have stuff built up already, so yeah, this is great if you want to play smaller nations or just do a huge campaign, this is the best place to start, I don't recommend any of, any, any of these for that, if you want to skip a bit on building, this is a great start here too, if you just, you want war, you want to start, next turn or something, there's war, that last days of peace, or the be brewing storm, both of them are, um, I don't know what's the difference here. I really don't know. I never checked that. But never mind. So let's do next. It's not going to load up bit of the assets. You probably can't see the loading because it's a different sc uh, screen. Okay, now it is. Here it is. So we're going to be playing China. <coughs> sorry, sorry for that. Fog of War on. A normal AI because I'm not the best in this game and I haven't played this game in a while. Oof, can't remember the last time I played it. But yeah. They're gonna play ideology. I thought of doing a conquest or a nation, but ideology is a really fun place. Our mission is not to win the game as a country, but to win the game as an ideology. So China starts as a dictatorship. So any nation that's a dictatorship is part of our ideology. We want to support these nations. As China, we are the strongest dictatorship in the game. We start as the strongest. The second one, I think, is Turkey. The second strongest. <coughs> Sorry, or oh, Brazil. I think I don't remember exactly who's the second strongest dictatorship. But it's one of those nations. We are the number one, of course. We start pretty weak, but we start with a huge population and a well, a chance to become the, one of the greatest nations in the world. So yeah. Oh yes, if you look at the screen right now, it may look stretched a bit or something. This is because I'm recording it. This is a window. This is a really, really small window. I had to put in the whole screen. The game runs at a full screen, though, so we won't have this stretching anymore. Sorry for that if it's annoying or looks weird, but yeah. So this should start the game if I'm not wrong. So, I'll see you after the loading screen. See ya guys. Hello guys, the loading screen is gone and everything is good. What? Victory have pushed thousands of communists on a long march deep into- Oh yeah, this is the story. So yes, this is this is where we start at. This is the start screen, this is all the things else. So let's read this. Victory, China has pushed thousands of communists on a long march deep into the western hinterland. You have battled inter in communists forces since the 1920s, finally they're all about vanquished, Fo focused on suppressing communism, everything else was secondary to China, including the Japanese aggression in 1931. Japanese soldiers invaded the province of Manchuria, Feng Tang, Hai, never mind, we can read that. Japan has industrialized and militarized Manchukuo, establishing a powerful tear hold in the mainland Asia. J Japanese forces lie uncomfortably close to your capital, and and have been constant threat to defend against Japan. Japan, you have South support from the West, especially the United States, the United Kingdom, and France. Can you convince them that by protecting China, they protect themselves? How will how will China survive? How will it survive? So, if I'm not wrong, if you start at building no, no, uh, the other one, the German question, you don't get the communists at all in the game. That's something I remember. I didn't have, but I, I don't I don't play this much with China. <laughs> Yeah. What's this? 99 units? Wow, we have a lot more soldiers and stuff like that. So yes, we are 8th in the world, authoritarian. Dictatorship authoritarian, the same shit. Capital is Nanking. And this is our treasure. We're a very rich country. We have 20 cities. Together they have, we have 102 IPUs. It's pretty big, but at the same time pretty small for a nation this big. Research 1 is awful. We want a lot more than that. These are the, um, what you're producing here. And the military units. You can begin here. I want to check something really fast right now, so I'll, I'll do a really fast skip here. If 
thank you. Oh, sorry for that. That changed. Okay, so let's see. How we should begin doing here. As I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. So, okay. So, we have the communist bastards in here. Are we at war? Yes, we are. What are their army sizes? So, they have five regular infantry. We have... Is this really regular infantry? No, we don't have even... It, this is not regular infantry. This is all militia. Do they have militia too? Let me see. No, they are literally. Oh, shit! I forgot to mute the music. Sorry for the <laughs> very good uh, music. Fucking hell! Oh, that's better. Okay, sorry for the music there. So they're pretty strong. Man, I'm not weak at all. Oh, yeah, this army is pretty weak though. Probably take this army down. What is what is this? This is a. Can you please show me what the range this is? Desert. So desert gives a bit of defense. That's all. So yeah, it looks like we have almost destroyed the communists. What do we have on the border with China? And what does China, uh, China, Japan have with us? So why? Is it? We have the eighth Japanese army and the ninth Japanese army. Hmm. Very strong, pretty strong armies. I wouldn't say. I think I know China likes to do is to send shit to Korea, like ships, and invade from here and here. And they already have a navy prepared for that here. What do we have defending our capital? Not we have a couple of infantry and an artillery unit. Are these fucking everything is militia? God's sake. Okay, I need to check the economy real fast. That's an economy. Where's the economy? There it is. Financial status, I want to see. How much we're spending on the... M oh, yeah, yes, you have to end the first turn for that. forgot this game doesn't count the first turn. These are regular troops, though. What are they doing down here, though? Why are you down here, may I ask? Okay, let me check. I need to... F okay, do you have any troops? Nope, we don't have troops. But, uh, okay, Japan is our main threat. These guys are weak. They can't do much. They can't expand out of there or anything. What's that? Five and... Yeah, they're completely useless. They can't do shit. What was I? You and you. Oh, there's only together. Yeah, only one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I'll send these boys in. Yeah, and move over there. I don't care about you that much. And I'll send you to defend Nanking. We won't be able to hold this for what we have right now. I'll have to support it. Right now, Nanking is a really... If Nanking falls, we have a huge problem. That's the one I'll tell you here. Because Nanking is one of our most industrialized cities in the game. So, yeah, at the start. Okay, so now we need to prepare our cities. Let me think. Any armies we need to move around. Okay, so we need to get rid of these guys. Just completely annihilate them. We have five, six... What is that? Five. And six. We have no choice. These guys have to die as fast as possible. We will send everything we got right now. We take this, then we attack from both directions. I hope this is enough to take these guys out. But these are heavily trained guys. These are, this is their strongest army, even though this is the more weaker army. We have to get rid of these guys. There's no other way. Everybody else is going to be f as fast as possible to get to the border between Japan and China. So. Chinese, so the Japanese don't get an easy attack. We'll have to start fortifying the area here, but I need to see next turn how much money we have, and we'll need to start investing in these cities. I want to get these two cities and start building them up, because they're pretty far off from the front line. Not too far off, but far enough, uh, far off enough. I haven't, I, you probably didn't understand anything I meant, but the, the, these, these two cities are far enough that the Ch Japanese won't be able to get in them that fast. They have a river protecting them. Giving us easy building here, we'll upgrade. Nanking will be a bitch to protect, but that's why I'm putting us massive units in there, and we have an air force in here too. So any, if anybody attacks us, they'll have to attack, well, fight this air unit there. What is this, attacker, defender? A fighter, so. You can't do much bombing, but if they have any planes, you'll do enough damage to them, because the Japanese only will have, don't have the best planes yet. They'll have them real soon. I didn't, think, I didn't forgot to check the technology tab. Oh damn, yeah, has to open the full screen. Let me see, where the hell are we? Finish, finish, and we are literally here. So how far are we from infantry to? Shit, pretty far off. Now what do we have? Production lines, we don't care about the navy. 
Attrition warfare is something we do need to get. So, let's begin researching here. Only nine king can research right now, and I need attrition warfare. Yep, thank you for that. We'll take 50 turns, but... Okay, so we're going to start upgrading cities. I will not upgrade any of these cities. These cities are money-making cities until they'll get taken out. So yes, first thing, we need to upgrade a city. What is the main resource we need to secure is China. As I remember, food is going to be a humongous problem. Another thing we need to do in, is the, in the trade. Where is the trade? There is the trade. No, no, no stockpiles. No. As China, we, we, can, we have a stockpile of 2,000. Buy only. I don't want you to sell any of this. I do not. Uh, the stockpile of this is maximum 2,000. If I will ever need oil, I will put them buy only. You're pretty good. I'll go again, buy only, buy only, and no, this will destroy my economy if I put them buy only. We'll generate that ourselves. Or when we need, I'll like drop this a bit stockpile to like how much we'll need. Probably, that's probably enough for a couple of units. It's very little. I'm used to having like 10, like 5k of that. So. And not a place, and you know, not in the start of the game, don't worry. I mean, like later on in the game, so that's what we, sh we should, not, should have. Who the hell are you? How did I miss you? The 19th Army. Um, put you in the front, I don't know, stay there, I'll put you in a squad later on. Where was I? Okay, so we're here, here, and here. Oh, wait, I missed a couple of other units. Britain shouldn't be a problem, but they may be. They're not our friends, they're really not. Our friends are mostly Mr. Turkey over here. Soviet Union is not our friend. You are not a friend either. Thailand is our friend though. We have a couple of friends, a couple of enemies, strong enemies. We have Soviet Union, Britain right there, and well, these boys. So the thing is, I want. I'm going to show you the ideology screen now. So this is the ideology screen right here. So we are the authoritarian English voice of hard to speak for me. Okay, so let's see. The right now the leading is Democrats leading everything. Democrats are number one. We are second on manpower and on research. The communists are numbers, well, they're all the way down. Because we, so, we, so you, they don't have many people. They only have these guys. These guys are about to dr dr be dropped out of the game. So you see. But I have a feeling Japan is preparing an invasion real soon. I have a weird tingling feeling. I know I, next couple of turns Japan may think is a good idea to invade. Now, keeping this unit here is not a bad idea. It's a strong army. It's the 15th army. These are the will be the reinforcements to Nanking if the army if the enemy lands from here. So we need to protect these both zones here from landing. But probably we can't protect everything. We can't. Japan has a better navy than us, and we can't use our navy for fighting. I have no idea where my navy even is. Oh, there it is. One of the navies. This is all we have. It's all we all over there. I think it is. Let me check. Oh, I have to press, press this button. Yes, this is the ROC Central Fleet. That's all we got. Yeah. We don't have much of a navy, as you can see. Now, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? We need to start upgrading our shit. So, Nanking is number one. Always upgrade the captain. No, Nanking, you won't be producing any goods. Let me think. What's your IPU? Seven. Okay, we need to upgrade your IPUs. In the stream. Yes, we need to upgrade your RPUs. We need cities to produce units, but first thing, the thing is, you can easily produce units, but you want to produce units in good cities. So the thing is, the game how this how this should go is upgrade city, then produce units. Don't produce units, then upgrade city. It doesn't go that. You shouldn't go that way because if you upgrade city, then produce units, you'll produce a lot more units in a faster time because cities upgraded and produce units faster. That's how I recommend doing it. Uh, if you're in a state of war and you're, about, you're really on the losing side, then yeah, just produce tons of militias if you can, or anything, even in cities that are produced really slowly, because you have no time to upgrade. But We are not at war yet. We'll soon be, and I'm not expecting an easy war with the Japanese, the bastards, I tell you. Bastards. But I'm certain we'll be able to beat them. I hope. We have no friends to help us, except these three here, and... They can barely provide, like, maybe how much? One division, two divisions. Thailand is going to be a, a big help. And another nation that can help us. It's a, it's a democracy, but they're friendly. Now, but we need to begin stealing research. That's something I forgot to do. Japan is number one. We hate the Axis. Axis are our enemy. We don't want, we don't want any relations with the Axis. So we're going to spend a bit of money already to deploy a couple of spies to 
Germany, all these nations we do not care to ever be friends with. I don't want to be friends with Germany, never in my life. Italy, all these nations, just yes. Because we'll have problems to getting our own research. Stealing is the next way to get research. So yes, everything is moving, all units moving. So now we began. We, we now this won't be enough. This cotton factory is not enough. We need a couple of them. And two will be, for now, two will be good. Later on we'll have to add more. I'm sure, I, I want to get the technology that gives us more of that. Now, a thing I like to do is upgrade these cities back here. So what you do is, we need a university, a university in every city. Any city you can build a university and build it. If it doesn't take like 100 turns, that's retarded. This will take 40 turns. So yes, first thing we do is, we build at least three of these around that. Same in this one. Get rid of you, at least three of these. Like I say, this is not the optimal way to play the game. I'm telling you, this is how I play the game. I do not watch wikis, I didn't wa um, watch, I didn't read wikis, I didn't watch any tutorials on YouTube. I think I've won, but it was mostly a Let's Play, not a tutorial. So I have no idea what's the optimal way to play. This is how I played the game, and I've won a couple of times doing this way. Well, almost won, I was like, I, s I lost by a margin once in the ideology with Japan, like, uh, they beat me in, like, let's see, uh, let me show you right now. Um, where's that? Government. Oh. That's diplomacy. I need to go to diplomacy. I think we're like, we were like, there were like 4,000. Like, let's say, but I don't remember the numbers, but let's say, I, I remember it was a margin. Let's say there are 4,000 right now, and we are 3,900. That's the margin. We're on 100, the margin. We lost. So, yeah. That's what I remember. I may be wrong. Maybe I'm, <laughs> but I figure, I figure I remember, but I don't, but. That's just me, that's how I roll. So let's just stop blabbering and making progress. So, okay, so those two cities I put up upgrading now. We need to generate the resources. Steel, coal are the two prominent resources we need. Oil is a secondary, and food is a primary right now. Food is something we need a lot of. These areas are not good for food. Not this, none this, not this, not this, not this. None of these areas are good for This is plains, right? No, desert. This is, if I can see, as you can see, desert is one of the worst of food. It's this almost the worst food jungles. Well, secondary is mountains and tundra is the same, but everything that's not f desert is better for food. And we have a lot of deserts in China. China mountains are 75, so hills, hills is good. Hills is like 25. Hills is zero, sorry. So we got. To, we have to press on the land, not the city. The land orders. That's our forks. We don't want food. So in close, the thing that takes the longest is the best. So we want to plant. We want a couple of plantations. They do take a lot of people, but we have a bit of people to spare. And we have a lot more later on. So building up a plantation, a couple of plantations there. Good. But now, now I need some other stuff. What is our resource we're producing the least amount of? How much we're producing? Producing 10 per turn. That's nothing. Producing 50 per turn. That's shit too. Producing one. That's not enough. That will run out real fast. If you, if I look at my government. What is our food? S food demand is 342. This will rise so fast. You will not imagine how fast it will rise. That's why I put a buy only already. Because we will need the supply of food. Later on we can sell the food off, but... Yeah. That's when we become big on food. So now, what, are my, what do we need early? How much, what the cost does this take? Let me see, what's the early research, research we need? Resource. So, okay, both of these are really heavy. We, both, we need both of them, so... Let's work on that. That's coal, right? Coal. So, let's build coal plants here. Resources. A coal pit and a coal mine. So, coal mine. I'll build as many coal mines as I can over there. That's as much as I can build there. That's coal mines. Now, we need steel. Steel is this, so we need to go here. Metals mine. Again, we. I can't add for some reason. Hmm. Why is that? But the, oh wait, is the region full? The only time it says this is the region full. I can't really see the region. Region status. Region for the yes, the region is full. Yeah, that's how you s I forgot that's how you check it. So we barely can build anything over there. So that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. We check around. Do you know, I know we have metals here, but I don't know we have some. Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. So uh, let's see. How are you? You can up to well, only two. Well. Wait, I forgot what's the better one. Mine, okay. Metal mine. 
two metal mines there, and for now I'll, I want to end the turn to see the economy. But we haven't upgraded all our cities yet, that was just those two, and now we need to upgrade some cl cities like this. No, you're not going to be doing that. So we want to get a university in here too, so we'll need at least three of these, later on we can build other factories for now. It's all about upgrading China, it's all about... If I go into debt, it's okay, I can probably sell off some stuff to get out of debt. Debt is not a problem, it's China, because you will need to go there sometimes, because you want to upgrade everything. You want to be a ma- because you have so many cities, you have to use all of them. You want to become a superpower. Well, that's how I think I need to play. Wait, supplies needed. Yeah, we're missing manpower, that's okay. All of that is okay. The missing manpower. Okay, so, I'll upgrade, let's see, are you upgrading? So we need the- okay, so we need this line. I'll leave this line and make it money. This city though, I'm not sure. We need to upgrade our port cities. I always forget to upgrade port cities. That's a big problem. You never want to. Any city is a city. It doesn't matter if it has a port or not. It's a city for God's sake. That's what, that's all I have. Okay, I'll do that next turn just because the turn is going for too long already. Now, that turn. Should, do we need, want to end the turn? Let me see. What else can we do? Go what's that city? No, we don't need that. Governments. We need f we need to build up relations. So the nations we need to build up relations with is Thailand. Also, Thailand is the only nation that will help us around here. I don't want France to help us. Cause I want to be stay away, far away from democracy. I do not want friends in democracy or anywhere. They like us. That's good. If I grant them military access, yeah, I'll give them military yeah. access. We can't do really much. That will increase our relations. And if I request an alliance treaty, they should decline. Yes. Oh, they're scared of communist China. This means they will not accept an alliance. This means they just found a specific reason why they don't. They sometimes can just say, oh, we don't see a reason to ally with you, because reasons. Tibet, I am I feel like annexing Tibet, because it's a completely useless country. But annexing it will be useless too in the same time, because do we really need Tibet? Eh, maybe, to become, make ourselves more powerful. What do they even have to offer? Barely anything, I think. Hmm, any other nations we could convince? Iran and Turkey would be nice nations to convince. Iran likes us, because, well, we're gonna get. We're gonna grant all nations that like us, like, mo mostly nations like. Because military access doesn't really do much except in crystal nations, and they can walk through your nation. I don't give a shit. If I see Iranian troops in my nation, I'll m make sure to have a nice escort for them. Th this We have a strange relation, but we can propose trade aid agreement, we don't want that, support government, 24%, that's little but it'll do that, we need to increase relations with Turkey, they're a real major power, like, yeah. now let's look at the world, right, world nations, who is the, let's see, we can see, rank, let's see, by rank, where are we, we are rank 8, so see, China, yep, rank 8, and then you have Japan, France, Germany, all that, so we have Australia as a democracy, 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 and these, the, f the sh second strongest is Brazil, then it's Portugal, it's not Turkey even. Huh. Yugoslavia is stronger than Turkey, damn. I thought Turkey was pretty powerful. The Romania, Romania will fall to the Germans, Turkey is here, 24th. So yeah, we have a couple of these, not too many, as you see. But, so we need to fall think about Brazil. Brazil is a nice ally to have. I know they can build up a navy pretty fast. I see them do that sometimes, build up a navy, but that's a pretty late game. So we're gonna grant them military access. All good, all nice. Supporting government will be impossible because they're almost as strong as me. That's all we can really do right now with them. Later on we can help. Maybe they will help us, maybe they will help them. So I think now it's the best time to end the turn. So let's do it. Uh, and the units are moving, shit is happening. Germany has placed embargo in Republican Spain, Italy placed embargo in Republican Spain, France placed, yeah. And nationalists, of course, <laughs> they did that. And the states are trying to help them, because, you know, stuff. We need, we need to eradicate these guys fast. I don't know if they're going to build up pretty strong, but they're, they have 32 attack, 67 defense. 14, 6, 14. Ooh, we have a problem. Yeah. The problem I'm looking at, these guys don't have enough. They're really, really, really weak armies. They can't even match the 67. Never mind. Cancel move. Cancel or move order. Cancel move order. Cancel. They won't be able to do it. Even if they out from all locations, they won't be able to take these guys out. We have to support the front. Okay. You. You have 14. 
No, no, cancel your move orders and come here. Cancel your move orders and come here. Cancel your move orders and come there. You guys, I need you right here and here. We'll have to get rid of those, that threat first before we even consider anything else. These guys have to die and there are no other, I'm not taking any other uh, thing. They die tonight. Okay, so let's see. Everything's going great, we're producing enough food, producing everything, the resources are producing. Now what do we need? So oh, okay, now I can look at my economy, that's nice. The economy. I can see the final. Okay, so our manufacturing produces us. We are losing 227 billion. But why is it? What cost us the most money? So maintenance and national programs took us to 20. Maintenance is 250. Hmm. We're, not, we're not making enough money because most of our cities are doing other stuff. We can bump that off. So we can't upgrade all our cities right now. So we need all the cities to produce money. So what we do is bump this up here. So you start producing. 10 million that I hate this not like that but you have to do it yourself you have to change each industry here to produce that okay so let's see you um, nope you're not doing that anymore you are doing this now very nice very nice what about you what do you no 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 that's not good okay that's a help help our economy a lot it's but not too much I'm willing to go into depth a bit I'm willing to do that but not too much and I want to upgrade a lot of these places. The, mostly the back area, backbone. And when I want to upgrade it a bit, I'll start focusing on this one. I can start shifting these guys to produce units and money. I'll start focusing on this more. Because we need cities to produce money sometimes, this one does not. You know, you, the thing is you want to focus on two types of cities. Production cities and money cities. And some other type of cities. It depends what you want, really. Now, I need a, I need a major naval city. A naval city that will do all the naval work for us. So, I'll make it you. I forgot about the naval city, we need one. You will be the next naval city, you'll produce three of these. P I'll probably take one out of there, but for now that's what we'll do. So let's see, army is preparing here, all on the front, real nice. Japan, I have problems with you. National programs are costing us a lot, but it's okay. Let's see, what can we trade right now? We have no commodities that we, are c we can even come close to trading, that's the problem. We are missing come and we only have one munitions plant, it's this one that so we can produce. We don't really need it. I'll set the stockpile, let's go here into the world market stockpiles. Um take down one thousand, take minus and make that eight hundred. I'll increase that later on if I need to. For now just keep it at eight hundred. So they buy up to eight hundred. So we always have at least a bit of arms, because we can't produce our own, we'll have to buy off from the world. So let's see, what else do we have? Hmm. Okay, so we have to deal with you, we have to deal with you later on, and then we have to deal with you. Okay, I'll end a couple of turns and I'll end this first episode. It's not going to be the longest episode, this is mostly an introduction. Okay, what else? Okay, you have a bit of manpower. Are we doing anything here? No. We have to really work hard on these lands. Yep, spend all the manpower I can over there. These things don't cost too much money. They do cost maintenance, but not too much money. Now, steel, we need more of it. So, metal spit. Oh, wow, that's too many, that's too many. I didn't know there's that much space. I'll do free for now, and then I'll up, the, up that. And that's good. I don't know if we're going to go into bankruptcy right now, but... I mean, wh we may be a there right now. No, we have 68 million. Increasing those. Let's see our economy. I want to see that pretty fast. So we're losing 103 million. What is that expensive? Imports, 6 million there. But mostly maintenance. What is maintenance? Let me see. Spending, spending. City, industry, research facilities, resource producers. So is resource producers, you mean, like, we are spending money on the building of this? That's mostly the reason, I think. The, the thing I hate, it doesn't give you full information in this game. If it told me, oh, to build this metal pit, you have to do that and that. Oh, and it will cost you, I don't know, five million, billion, I don't know. Tell me the number, because they do cost. You see, all these added, had add to added cost. What is that? We don't have that many factories that can... We don't have anything, any production areas at all that can cost this much. That's the problem, mostly. But, I'll end this episode right here. Because I need to do some other stuff. And this is the first episode. Be ready to see more. The next episode is going to be part 2, then part 3. Until we finish this whole campaign. I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Defane. See ya.